Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. This week, astronauts on board the space station researched damaged DNA. NASA astronaut Nick Haig spent time working inside the Columbus Laboratory module with the Genes in Space 6 experiment, which is exploring how space radiation damages DNA and how the cell repair mechanism works in microgravity. Increased exposure to radiation can affect long-term health, with DNA damage linked to the increased risk of cancer and other degenerative diseases, Genes in Space 6 will study the DNA repair mechanisms that cells use by inducing DNA damage and assessing mutation and repair at the molecular level. An increased understanding of how cells repair DNA damage while in microgravity can contribute to future methods to protect astronauts on the space station and future missions to the moon and beyond. Genes in Space is a competition for students in grades 7 through 12 to design a DNA experiment that addresses challenges in space travel and deep space exploration. It's just one of the many ways that students can directly benefit from the International Space Station. For more information, go to genesinspace.org or head over to nasa.gov slash stemonstation to look for more opportunities. This week's question comes from Matthew DeFrancesco, who wants to know if astronauts get medical care when they return to Earth. The answer is yes. All astronauts have a flight surgeon assigned to them. These flight surgeons support them pre-flight, during the mission, and post-flight. At the landing site, flight surgeons take the crew members to the medical tent to check their vital signs and provide any needed treatment. The NASA astronauts start the journey back to Houston that same day, accompanied by their flight surgeons, who will then support any medical tests and recovery programs to ensure that the crew members are readapting to Earth's gravity. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.